Texas A&M, of course, falling to Arkansas 20 to 10. Move on to Mississippi State. The Bulldogs at Kyle Field on Saturday night. There's a lot of things in regards to not necessarily one breakdown, but I'll, I'll throw you this. Uh, as you mentioned before we started to record, a lot of things to be cleaned up coming off of that loss. Um, and, and then also just a physical style of play in regards to that being expected of this team that to protect a new quarterback, whether that was going to be Zach Calzada or Haynes King, that they were going to have to be physical up front with, with four new starting offensive linemen, but the, a group that was supposed to be more talented with a higher ceiling, more athletic, uh, that Jimbo Fisher felt good about those guys getting together and forming a cohesive unit. And, and just um, uh, even on the defensive front uh, for a team that's supposed to be uh, pride itself in physical play, and that's supposed to be the hallmark of a, an outstanding season that was anticipated this year, just getting pushed around on both sides of the ball a little bit. Yeah, um, I think they have to get back to, to kind of that playing with that standard and um, on both sides of the ball. I guess beginning on the offensive side of the ball, he, he said, you know, you continue to have to – you have to be able to move people. Um, and that's a theme that we've talked about so far this year, you know, playing with that physicality. Um, in the last two year, weeks, we've heard a lot about, you know, this is big boy ball and we have to go play. Um, and so I think they need to be more physical up front. Um they need to give Zach Elzada time. And I thought they I thought they got a little bit better as the game went along, but you know, he was still under pressure quite a bit. And um I think Jeff Tartley, our our writer on Giggum 247, said you know, Haynes King got I mean, Zach Elzada got pressured on about forty percent of his throws, which is quite a bit, um for especially for a quarterback with a, without a ton of experience. Um but it, the and the theme across the board, you know, whether it was offense or defense, was, you know, you just have to be more consistent on a on on a regular basis because it was, you know, one play it was receivers, one play it was running backs, one play it was the offensive line, one play it was tight end, one, you know, one play it was the quarterback, and it was just everybody taking turns making mistakes. Um, and I think that that was the message this week was it starts in practice. They have to, you know raise the standard in practice. Um, heard that from both players and the coaches that, you know, start some practice, you have to practice better. And, and that's gonna, what's going to lead to the, to the field. And even on the defense side of the ball, they only gave up 20 yards, but um, Jimbo Fisher said, and, you know, you give up three scores on the opening three drives of the game. Um, and suddenly just in a blink of an eye, you're down 17 to nothing. And actually, as he pointed out, could have been 24 to nothing. It actually could have been a lot because of that, that fourth down stop that, you know, if you don't make the fourth down stop, suddenly you're looking at 24 to nothing, and then the game could have been a whole lot worse. So uh, I think what the one troubling thing for, for A&M is what in, in three of their four games so far this year, um, the defense has taken about a half to wake up um, and start playing to the level that it, that's expected of them. And, uh, I think that's kind of the message this week is from the jump. They need to have the intensity and the physicality and discipline that um, they need to play with because, you know, Arkansas ran all over them for the first quarter in a bit. And uh, I think they had close to 300 yards in the first half. Um, and so I think that was the message was play with that physicality and play with that intensity up front. But it needs to start uh, from the jump. He referenced that, that play where Aaron Hansford appeared to, you know, almost – push AJ Green into the into the end zone and Jimbo Fisher just said it does, doesn't matter what the explanation was you just got to simply be able to tackle him um so I mean that's just a that's a play that you can look back and point to some of the issues that they had in the first half you just got to be able to you know put a hit on him in and play with that physicality required 